break. Have a Kit Kat. It's your last chance to save up to 50% plus an extra 20% of all sale prices and say goodbye to MFI's biggest ever sale. Must end March the 12th. Couldn't fit into the dress then, madam. Dress? <laughs> oh, I couldn't fit into the changing room. <laughs> Cow. We all need a PG moment. Join the fun with Pinocchio. Hello. In this special edition, now available on Disney DVD and video. Spring is in the air, and we're celebrating with this wonderful classic CD collection of Spring Garden Classics, free inside tomorrow's Sunday Express. Express delivery. All right, Johnsky. All right, just give me a minute, mate. Ready for a Trotsky? Oh, I'm shattered. What you got there, Stan? It says Greenski. Yeah. Hellski. Go on. It's like a party on me tongue ski. Oh, I love your gutter. Give us a go. And off ski. Oh, come on, just a little touch. Hey, hey, hey! So what's it called then? I don't know. New ski from Nestle. Hmm. Not a bad place to meet the parents. Blimey. Time to freshen up. Quick. New Wrigley's Extra Thin Ice. Micro strips of freshness that taste great mm. and dissolve instantly on your tongue. Oh. Oh. Leaving you with nothing but fresh breath. New Extra Thin Ice. Get fresh in an instant. Hi, Tom. <laughs> it's me. Oh, you're at the gym. Good, that's... Uh... Well, I've just rang up something I wanted to tell you. And I thought, it'd be better if I did it, you know, man to man. You know, uh, face to face. So, the thing is, um, you know I've got a new girlfriend. Way! Well, um, she's, she's your sister. So, uh, I'm at the airport at the moment. I'll, I'll give you a ring when I get back from Perth. Pre-order now. Mobile video calling only on three. To some, it's a shell. To others, it's a 1974 Aston Martin V8 5.3 litre 325 brake horsepower. The real beauty is that once restored, you'll have the chance to win it. And there'll be a different classic car every week. Dream Machine starts Wednesday at 8 on 5. Are your credit card bills getting you down? Well, give debt the finger, or more precisely, two. With Brilliant Industries' La La La, I'm Not Listening Musical Fingers. Brilliant Industries, your lighthouse in the fog of ideas. Or even more brilliant, with an egg card, you can now get 0% interest on all balance transfers. That means 0% when you move balances from all your other cards, and better still, from your personal loans and overdrafts, too. There's 0% interest on anything you buy, and you get cash back on all purchases. I'm leaving you now. Mm, delicious! Oh, great! great. Apply now at eggcard.com. At 3.2%, you won't find a better rate on the high street. Join us. Searching for arms. And battling elbows. Every part of everybody loves very soft clothes. Sleeping cheeks. Middle-aged torsos. Collect Treasure Planet characters with very soft clothes.
No, 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 no! Only Wall's balls are crispy golden coated balls filled with delicious sausage straight from the freezer. New Wall's balls! Things that make you go, mm. Introducing McDonald's ever-changing new taste menu. Why not try the delicious new toasted ham and cheese melt? Filled with a cheddar cheese sauce, tasty roasted ham and melted mozzarella for just 99p. Or the chicken salsa flatbread. A premium fillet breast of chicken, crisp iceberg lettuce and salsa sauce served in a sun-dried tomato and herb flatbread. Mm. Or how about the pasta salad with Italian-style chicken, which has less than 5% fat? And if that's not enough, why not indulge in a delicious Cadbury Cream Egg McFlurry? Mm. There's a place where magic lives. To get there, visit DisneyHolidays.co.uk. Look! Get your kids one of these amazing Simpsons watches absolutely free <coughs> when you buy any two Kellogg's promotional packs. <coughs> so your kids will never be late for the important things ever again. For a limited time, only from Kellogg's. Now, in the last eight, Celtic and Liverpool face their most crucial test. It's Scotland versus England. It's champion Celtic versus the mighty Reds. It doesn't get much bigger than this. Celtic against Liverpool, the UEFA Cup quarter-final, Thursday at 7.45, live and exclusive on Five. A magical story for Boxing Day. You'll need a proper profession in keeping with your station. Any ideas? Buckingham Palace, possibly? Jim Broadbent, Hugh Laurie, Lindsay Marshall and Bill Nye star in The Young Visitors. Boxing Day at 6 on BBC One. Boy. Pam. Meets girl. Mm hmm? I love you. Meets father-in-law. If I find that you are trying to corrupt my firstborn child, I will bring you down, baby. Right. Ben Stiller rubs Robert De Niro up the wrong way. In Meet the Parents, Boxing Day at 8.30 on BBC One. Christmas night on BBC... Are we dating? What? Are we getting married? you got there? 12 bottles of mineral water. Yep. Never go shopping when you're thirsty. <laughs> Welcome to a very special Christmas celebration. Spend Christmas with BBC One. We'll nail these jokes. I can't imagine somebody thinking they could get away with a thing like this. Don't. Don't. I just have a word in there. Well, look, everyone saw it. I told Dawn how I felt, and she, you know, she said no to me. I'm not going to ask her again, obviously. I might ask her again. The Office Christmas Specials begin Boxing Day at 10.15 on BBC One. Alfie and Kat's wedding day and Phil's planning a Christmas surprise of his own. Two visits to Albert Square tonight on BBC One at 6 o'clock and 8.40. But right now, it's news time with George Alagaya. Christmas Day violence in the Middle East. Five Palestinians are killed. Then the first suicide bomb in over two months, three dead in Tel Aviv. A tribute to British forces, the Queen's Christmas message goes on location. And silent night, British scientists are still waiting for a signal from Beagle 2. Good evening. At least three people have been killed in a bombing at a bus stop in the Israeli city of Tel Aviv. It's thought to be the first suicide attack in over two months. 
The Tel Aviv bomb came just minutes after Israeli forces killed five Palestinians, including a senior Islamic militant, during a helicopter attack in Gaza. The aftermath of yet another suicide bombing. It happened just outside Tel Aviv at a bus stop during the rush hour. In the ensuing chaos, it was difficult to reach the scene. But soon it became clear that Israelis were among the dead and injured and that the bomber was also killed. This was the first suicide attack in Israel since October, when 22 people died in a restaurant in Haifa. But with little or no progress between the Palestinians and the Israelis, the killings continue on both sides. In Gaza, an Israeli gunship killed a senior Islamic militant and four others in a missile attack as a revenge for the shooting of their soldiers. According to the Israelis, the jihad extremist leader was deliberately targeted. This was the first such attack on Gaza for more than two months. But it happened just before the bus bombing in Tel Aviv this evening and demonstrates yet again that any appearance of calm is just an illusion, say the Israelis. Doubtless these latest killings will produce calls for restraint, but that's unlikely so long as the two sides are not talking to each other. John McIntyre, BBC News. Our Middle East correspondent James Reynolds is in Jerusalem now. James, two attacks in one day. How much of a setback is this? This is a very big setback, George. There had been a lull for two months before this. No suicide attacks and no Israeli missile strikes. Now, during that time, there had been plenty of attempts by official peacemakers, by freelance peacemakers, and by international mediators to try to get the diplomatic process back on track. But all those efforts came to nothing. So now, within the space of about half an hour, we've had a suicide attack and an Israeli missile strike. That is a setback, and tonight, the Israeli government has announced that it is closing off the West Bank and Gaza. James, thank you. Pakistan's president has narrowly escaped assassination by two suicide bombers. It happened in Rawalpindi as President Pervez Musharraf's convoy passed through. Fourteen people were killed. The president later appeared on television.